This video will demonstrate how to correctly use Stereofilt Fast and Stereofilt Plus. Stereofilt filters are an important development in the field of harm reduction in injection drug use. They both offer high filtration performance, protecting against the injection of insoluble particles, fungi or bacteria, depending on which filter is used. Although they have different filtration capacities, both filters should be used in the same way. Here we will use the Stereofilt Plus with three different syringes. A needless syringe, a BD insulin syringe and a B-Brawn Omnican syringe. Stereofilt filters are compatible with the most common syringes used for injection drugs, whether with a fixed needle or needless with Lua slip tip. However, Stereofilt cannot be used on needless syringes with Lua lock tips. Stereofilt comes in sterile packaging. To use, gently remove the paper lid, then tilt the Stereofilt while making sure not to touch it directly with your fingers. It is important to always avoid touching the filter to prevent contamination with bacteria on your hands. Next, insert the syringe into the filter. To ensure a good seal between filter and syringe, twist the syringe within the filter one full rotation. The filter is now correctly positioned. Here is the same process with a BD syringe with fixed needle. Open the Stereofilt wrapping and tilt the filter upwards, again being careful not to directly touch the filter. Insert the syringe. Seal securely by screwing the syringe firmly in place. For the Omnican syringe with fixed needle, the manipulation is slightly different. There is no need to screw it in. Just press firmly until it clicks, which indicates that the filter is properly positioned. To avoid damaging the needle against the inner wall of the filter, stabilize the movement by placing your elbows on the table or on your lap. For this demonstration, we are using 0.7 milliliters of product in a Steri cup. Be careful not to flatten the Stereofilt ring against the bottom of the cup to avoid a suction effect. Draw the solution into the syringe by slowly pulling the plunger back. You have now obtained a clear, filtered solution without altering the active product. The Stereofilt can now be removed and discarded. It is necessary to remove any air bubbles before using the syringe. To do so, hold the syringe vertically with the needle pointing upward. Tap on the syringe to make the bubbles rise and then expel them with the plunger. The filtration process is now complete. If you are having trouble drawing the liquid, it is likely because the seal between the syringe and the Stereofilt isn't adequately tight. Firmly push the syringe within the filter to secure it. In rarer cases, the cause may come from the presence of excess plastic on the syringe. Scratch it off. It's important to remember, changing filtration method is not easy for everyone. Practicing in a calm environment, using water, will help you get used to it. Filtration does not protect against viruses. The only way to avoid viral transmission is to never share your equipment. Using the Stereofilt, even the Stereofilt Plus, does not guarantee an injection without any infectious risk. It is recommended to always wash hands, use sterile single-use equipment, disinfect the injection site, and to never lick the needle. To find out more, visit our website or watch our other videos.